one of the really powerful meditations that can be done is one that I would call the Hall of Doers of the Mind, which we will go in and look at different parts of the mind and try to see what might be gained by exploring them piece by piece, segment by segment. So begin by letting your breath become long and slow and clear. As it gets deeper and deeper, just follow the exhales down to the end. Gradually, peacefully, just letting them slide down the end of the exhale. Feel yourself coming down the exhale, slipping off into the end of the exhale into that space beyond. Let your breath be long and slow and smooth. As you do this, be aware that you are a watcher, a presence, a subject, seeing this breath rising and falling, and perhaps seeing other things arise in consciousness, thoughts, sensations, emotions. As we've done before, just feel yourself as this watcher, discreet from all of those objects. Allow yourself to settle into this, watching this exhale. Slide slowly down the exhale into that space beyond. And now from this still space, Visualize yourself standing in a long hallway. There's many doors on either side. And as you stand there, just ask very simply, like you would ask for something in the store. for permission to investigate this mind. Ask if you can speak to the controller. As you feel that arising, this controller, this watcher over this operation of the mind, just to ask very simply if it is okay. If you investigate these different doors of the mind. It's like you would ask a friend for a favor. This may sound and feel a little bit strange. Just feel yourself doing this and wait for a reply. The sensation that in fact it is okay for you to proceed in your investigation of the mind. Then having received an okay to proceed with this, looking at different parts of the mind, begin walking 
taking one or two steps down the hall. And you see on your left the door that has a label on it called Skeptic. And walk over to the door and open the door. And walk inside and close the door behind you and sit down in the comfortable chair there. And just ask very simply if you can speak to the voice of the skeptic. Then ask this voice, the skeptic, for any messages, any stories, any concerns it might have for you. And just sitting in that comfortable chair, just listen, feel, as the voice of the skeptical mind tells you what its concerns might be. And then having heard those concerns, thank the voice of the skeptical mind. Get up out of the chair and walk over to the door, open the door and walk out into the hall and close the door behind you. And then back in the hall, begin walking another step or two. See on the left a door labeled fear. Walk over to the door and open the door. And go inside and close the door behind you and sit down and sit in this comfortable chair. I ask if you could speak to the voice of fears. See what fears there might be that are concerning you right now. And then listening to this voice of fear as it comes out with stories. See what fears it has that are on top, foremost in its concerns. So allow these to tumble out as they come out. Just feel these fears come up. Not doing anything with them, just seeing what fears there are that are there right now. And then thank this voice of fear for its information and for sharing this with you. Get up out of the chair and walk back to the door, open it and go back out inside into the hall. Walking a little further down the hall, look on the left, you see a door labeled Joy. And open the door of Joy. Knock on it, open the door of Joy and walk inside and see this very comfortable chair.
and closing the door behind you, sit down in the chair and ask if you can speak to the voice of joy. And then listening very carefully and quietly for this voice of joy, let it speak what messages the voice of joy has for you. Feel how this voice of joy brings forth these stories. Just let them come in without resistance from you. Then thank the voice of joy for what it has to convey to you, what it has shared with you today. Get up and out of the chair and walk over to the door, open the door and go out into the hall and close the door behind you. Taking a few more steps down the hall, look and see what doors are there. Uh, there's, a, there's a door called attachment. Just knock on the door of attachments. And open the door. And walk inside and ask if you can speak to the voice of attachments. Then walk over and sit in the chair. And listen to the messages that the voice of attachments has for you. Feel these messages emerging on your attachments. Then thanking the voice of attachments for its sharing with you. Come back out into the hall again, opening the door, closing the door behind you, and standing in the hall, look across the hall, and there's another door labeled non-attachment. Interestingly, you walk over, knock on the door, open the door, and go inside. And ask if you can speak to the voice of non-attachment. Sit down in the chair and listen as the messages come forth from this voice of non-attachment. Feeling each one of them and seeing how you feel about these messages on non-attachment from the voice of the mind. Then thank the voice of non-attachment for its message. 
Get to the bottom of the chair and come over to the door. Open the door. Go out into the hall. Close the door behind you and walk a little further on down the hall. Oh, you see on the right-hand side down there, teenager. Walk down to the door labeled teenager. And knock on the door. And open it and go inside and ask if you can speak to the voice of the teenager. And go over and sit down in the chair and ask if you can hear these messages from the voice of the teenager. Arising from this portion of the mind. And listen very carefully. Feel these messages as they arise from the voice of the teenage mind. Allow these stories as you sit there comfortably, eyes closed, resting, breath long and slow. Allow these messages of the voice of the teenage mind to come openly, freely, out to you. And then thank the voice of the teenage mind for its messages. Go back out into the hall. Close the door behind you and walk a little further down the hall. You see a door labeled six-year-old. Go to the door labeled six-year-old. Knock on the door. Go inside and ask if you can speak to the voice of the six-year-old. Go over and sit down comfortably in the chair and listen to the voice of the six-year-old mind. And see what messages and stories it has for you. This six-year-old mind. To allow those stories to spill out. Feel the energy of these stories from the six-year-old mind. And thank the voice of the six-year-old mind for its stories. And come back out into the hall. And walk a little further down towards the end of the hall. You see at the very end of the hall, Large glass wall with a glass door in it. The label on the door is called everythingness. You 
go and knock on the door of everythingness. Open the door and step through, closing the glass door behind you. And stand there in this great, expansive oneness. Feel that oneness penetrating and pervading every aspect of you. Feel this everythingness, this oneness, penetrating every molecule of your body, mind. Allow yourself to expand into this oneness. Feel there is no place that this oneness is not. Pervading everything, everywhere. Now, 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 this oneness. Feel yourself merging with, merging into this oneness. See if you can find any edge. Any end to this oneness. Feel it expanding. Yourself dissolving into this oneness. And then thank this, thank this oneness for its time. Open the door of the glass wall and go back outside into the hall. Come back into your breath again. Let it go long and slow. Focus on the exhales. Just allow yourself to be absorbed in the breath. Feeling the inhale, the exhale, the subject, and then all of those as they dissolve into this oneness. And just rest in and hold this Oneness. Realize that it has always been there. If you feel you're ready, you can open your eyes and Come back into the present moment.